Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. This video is completely not makeup related. This is something I am trying to see if I feel comfortable doing so and if it's something that anyone's interested in. I wanted to create a little moments for my channel, hopefully as I'm getting back into track with it, to do some little self-talk with you guys. I want to do some self-talk and you know do some kind of reflections and one of the things that I tend to struggle a lot with the statement is that people have different growth levels and paces it's something that I struggle a lot because um I used to be super like super a student back in DR I used to like be super um hard working I mean I still am don't get me wrong like I'm still a nerd but um, I thought that because I was so good at school that it would transition into college and into work. And as I left school into going to college and then I came here and I got, I had to add two more years to my school um, time because I didn't take in DR grades. And I saw in social media or on LinkedIn how many people from my school were kind of advancing in their careers or it would be like kind of like personal and professional moments where I could see them advancing, maybe traveling. Like I love traveling and I could see like all of my friends, not all of my friends, but people that I know or that I study with, they're traveling all over the world or they're winning all these awards or like changing jobs and whatnot. And for the, like when I came here, I didn't even have a job and I was still studying. I was behind compared to my to my classmates then they graduated and I was still in school and then when I started having a job I realized how life is not like school that you study and you know what you're doing and I had no shit of what I was doing and I could see all of my friends you know like kind of not kind of like moving forward or like whether professional or personal and I felt like I was so stuck and I could see that everyone was like advancing either in their careers or just like in general doing things that I wish that I was doing. And the only way to keep me sane was learning that, yeah, that everyone has different growth levels. And I think that I guess this conversation would just be like a reminder if you're struggling with that too, is that, you know, like you are where, one, you are where you are supposed to be. That is something that I've definitely learned. Every aspect of your life that you're in, every situation, whether you're stuck or you're thriving or whatever, it's a moment and time and place that you need to be because it's going to lead you essentially to the next part where you're going. It's definitely going to transform you into where you need to be. Like, I came into my job and I thought I'd be the best and... I struggled so, so much because it turned out I didn't know shit of what I was doing. I, I thought I'd be the best because I was the best at school, at my school. I thought it, everything would like kind of like transition into me being the best at my job and it, I had to learn to learn. I had to learn the fact that I wasn't the best. I had to learn the fact that I was actually there to learn and then do the work and then keep learning some more and that it's, that it's always going to be a constant learning curve. I kind of lost my point there, but I say that it was a learning curve. It's also the fact that if I would have been thriving from the beginning, I wouldn't have learned all the things I needed to learn in that moment. And I wouldn't have connected the way I already have with the people in my job if I wouldn't have struggled, if I wouldn't have been stuck in that moment. And now, in hindsight, I, I am super grateful of feeling stuck. I am super grateful of of all the things that I struggled with at the beginning because it led me to be able to become more vulnerable and to be less defensive and to grow in all the ways I needed to grow to be where I am today. And that everyone, whether you're seeing them um, winning awards or whatnot, everyone has some sort of struggle. They just obviously don't tell you as something that we've spoken. We've always seen in social media, like you obviously put your best part of your life there you're not posting your struggles and yeah like everyone that you think might be thriving or whatnot they probably have some other issues that you have no idea about so this would be a reminder to always be kind always be kind to everyone because you don't know what they're going through and yeah like you just don't know the whole story and you're like the only story that you need to focus on is yours and to genuinely like something that is always going to make you feel good about whether you feel behind or not, is to genuinely be 
happy for the other person and let them know that you are happy for them because being envious or sad of someone else's success it will only make you feel like shit whether if you're at least supportive of someone else's success you are at least becoming a better person and you are being supportive of, of someone else's success which is in itself great actually I try to um, text people when I see that they're like doing great stuff I just try to let them know that hey someone's noticing because I might not know some other issue that they're going through and at least I'm acknowledging that good thing that maybe they're not looking into and they just posted it and made them it's not a big deal but if someone else tells them from the outside it kind of like helps you change your perspective a little bit so yeah we all have different growth levels and that that is completely fine like you don't need to get your shit together right when you're out of college or in your first job or like in the second or the third and that there's no pressure to be anything right now you know like it's a learning it's a learning curve it will always be a learning curve for yourself and for others and something else that i wanted to touch upon is that just as you see people like kind of outside growing or like moving at a faster pace than you are sometimes the people around you will move at a faster pace or you will move at a faster pace i've been on both sides where i feel like someone's like kind of moving forward and i feel like i'm being left behind or i am moving forward and someone feels like they are left behind and something that i've learned to understand being on both sides is that you, that you can't force anyone to stay with you that is one thing and again you have to be happy for their growth and their success because it will one they'll appreciate you more i can tell you for sure rather than trying to hold on to them and make you making them hold on to you rather focus on why you feel so bad that they are leaving is it that you're dependent on them to be happy or is it that you don't feel satisfied with what you're doing and kind of like I'd say like kind of change perspective is something that my boss is always telling me to do or like helping me do is to change your perspective like I used to struggle with like my sister like I felt like she was moving forward with her life and we used to do everything together and she tried to like you know kind of made a balance to like keep me like and to like keep me in her day to day and I realized that it wasn't because she was moving forward that that I felt left behind me because it was because I felt stuck with whatever I was doing and it didn't matter whether she was there or not but the moment I decided to focus on okay what is making me move forward what is making me do things that I enjoy like what what, what do I need to pay attention to that might make me feel like I'm stuck and what make, what might make me feel like I am not and the moment I started focusing on things that I actually enjoyed on things that were actually making me feel better it didn't matter that she was moving on and I would just appreciate and I still am appreciating more the things that we do together or the little time that we get to spend together because we have different hours or we have different schedules so that would be the thing and when you are the one who's moving forward and you have this person trying to hold you back one again is for them to understand that everyone moves at a different pace but also to be more mindful if I could go back in time and tell myself something because I know that I can be very stubborn and whatnot I would tell myself to be more mindful of other people's feelings because if someone is feeling left behind there is probably something that's going on within their lives that they feel like they need you to hold on to and I've seen this with friends as I speak to them about this stuff like it's a matter of looking within and seeing what is it that it's making you feel like you need this person and you can't let them go and move on you know and it's really really hard because we're all social <laughs> we're all social we want people in our lives especially people that we hang out with all the freaking time like my sister I used to hang out with her I, I used to hang out with her all the freaking all freaking day all the freaking time and when I couldn't have her it wasn't because I didn't want her to grow it's because I felt so stuck and like the only person who didn't make me feel stuck with was her who only made me feel good was her and I learned that I need to focus on things that were making me feel better so yeah I just I just thought that would be such a nice reflective thing and maybe help you um, change your perspective a little bit I mean I guess that's the purpose of this video and I would love to know if you find this helpful or comment down below what you like or what you didn't like about this video it's to just help you and help me reflect on how to change our perspectives to kind of like shift into letting people be and do them and try to focus a little more on how you do you and how you focus on yourself so that you can be happy for others and supportive of others and at the same time not feel left 
behind because I know that's a horrible feeling. I felt it many, many times in my life and I, up to this day, still struggle with it. But I think that's the best way to like, you know, when you let other people know like, hey, you're doing this and that, I think that's really awesome. I think that's really helpful to them. And I think it's helpful to you because you're only like bringing that positivity out and kind of like bringing it in at the same time. So yeah, you guys, I just thought that would be a nice little affection. I thought about doing this little thing, like maybe once a month, you know, like kind of like reflecting, making us change your perspective a little more, helping me change my perspective a little more because I know I can be a little rigid with myself and others. And yeah, you guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see you in the next one. Bye.